Oh no! What? <laughs> That's awesome. Fire edition video. I wanted to test out these waterproof, windproof, stormproof matches. Very often you'll hear waterproof, stormproof, windproof matches. And from my experience, they usually suck. I've seen these, I've heard some good things about them, and I wanted to test them out, see how they handle with some water, handle when they burn, see how long they burn for, and how often they actually strike with one strike. Sometimes you'll have some issues with the strikers, sometimes they won't ignite, sometimes they'll like they'll fizzle like a shitty magician for a second and then just not work at all. So these matches are from UCO or UCO. <laughs> <laughs> see what happens if you do like the way these matches perform if they do perform well and do what they're supposed to do which is waterproof and windproof preparation is key when it comes to making a fire so be prepared if you do want some links in the description for the cheapest price that i can find almost forgot I have my beer sitting over there if you get a chance to check out lagunitas waldo's special ale get on it oh it's delicious so put the beer right there had to also get some other items to compare them to. When you're backpacking and you're up there in the elements and you don't have a lot with you, the last thing you wanna do is have to deal with not having a fire. It sucks. Uh, little big lighters are great, but higher altitudes, colder weather, these things don't work as well as you would like and they go out super quick. You're not gonna have a, a lot of fun with that. Everyone huddle together to get the one little, one little spark going. It's not what you want. Book of matches, they don't do what they're supposed to do all the time either and if they get wet, like, look, oh my God, brand new. Oh. oh, that's all I got. If you had to start a fire, you can ignite this whole book of matches in one strike. Oh, there you go. And it burns, but you have to keep it under close guard because this will go out very easily and very easy to blow out as well. Not waterproof. Let's put that over here. Where's the other one at? Oh, there it is. Always look after your things that are been on fire you don't want to start a fire so book of matches all well and good but when you're in the elements and you need to have something that works every time when you need it to especially when it's super windy and when it's raining and wet that's what this is all about everyone's like well get a flint i mean yes flints are great flints i have on me all the time i never go anywhere in the outdoors without some sort of flint or magnesium shavings uh just so i can help out with a fire being started it, it is huge and we'll get into that if you're not skilled with it, you have to really get used to how you actually use your flint and your magnesium. It's, it's not that hard, but to do it the right way and getting even wet tinder to start is a little difficult. So that in mind, having stormproof matches that actually work, um, we're gonna need this in a second, are worth their weight in gold. Online, you can find them, there they are. Ugh, so this is the pouch. You get 25 matches. This is the actual size of the match. So it's <laughs> what you see is what you get. The strike pad that you have on the side of a box for matches, you have inside this as well. You don't need to carry the whole box, take what you want, so on and so forth, and then bring the striker with you. Nice. So let's check these out, see how well these actually work with the matches. I know this is anything, it's, this is not a profound video. It's testing to see if matches work but you rather hear about it here <laughs> and see if something's good rather than going up in the middle of nowhere and next thing you know you're up that creek without that paddle not a good situation and that's the whole point of gy6 outdoors i have your back i want to be able to test the products if they work i'll tell you if they don't work i'll tell you so if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to our channel also leave a comment in the comment section what stuff you might want to see tested in the near future. And if you are liking the content and you're starting to watch some of our stuff and you like the way I'm filming it and you want to see more, please consider becoming a patron at our Patreon page. We're trying to become completely fan funded. Patreon.com forward slash GY6Outdoors. The links are in the description of this video. So matches, yes, they are the actual size of the box or the picture on the box like they say, um, which is nice. They're not the same color, they're orange. So if you're being that anal about it, they aren't exact, but slightly orange. These show red in a way, darker orange, but they are the same size. Now we're gonna see if they ignite as easy as they're saying they do. So let's put this down here. Let's just see how they ignite right out of the gate. Holy, yeah, that'll work. Okay. 
Well, and the rest of the stick keeps burning. It looks like a small road flare. That's always a good sign to start off with. Let's see how long they burn for. 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 6 1,000, 7 1,000, 8 1,000, 9 1,000, 10 1,000, 11 1,000, 12 1,000, 13 1,000, 14 1,000, 15 1,000. Roughly 15 seconds. That's some good burn time at that, at that heat rate. I mean, it's putting off some serious flame. Beer break. So having a match that when you strike it, it doesn't just snap in half. For instance, diamond matches. You'll see these all over the place. These are strike anywhere matches. But you can see on the side of this, this is a box of matches I've had for a while. Strike anywhere matches, no. <laughs> I think I've snapped more of these in half than I've started actually. And the striker on the side, if there's any moisture in the air whatsoever, doesn't strike your match. Strike anywhere match. <laughs> there's, there's one there's one of their matches <laughs> that would be the one i grabbed okay put that over there uh there you go Stri grab a match strike breaks and i'm not even pushing that hard snaps in half this is not trying to make an infomercial i'm not trying to be like that guy who's like you ever tried to make eggs and the guy's like ah, he throws eggs all over his face just to be dramatic no if you all have probably experienced these matches Try this side. Oh, so they burn and then, what the hell? Like they'll burn and they instantly go out. Half of these will just they'll up and then they're gone. Come on, son of a. Up, <laughs> oh. burn, give it some shade. Come on, come on. We're in prime conditions. It's not wet, it's not super, super cold, not super, super hot and come on baby stay alive any situation where the wind starts picking up these things will come and go as they please like just twisting it made it go out not good cue these matches i think i know which one i want to use still going i like it 11.3%. <laughs> it's amazing. So let's see if these external strikers work. Yep. Easy. First time. Oh, yeah. And even at when they're done, they still kind of have like an ember. So if you were to drop that into a tinder bundle, you'd be good to go. Let's see what happens when they're wet. Ah, match. I don't want to make this too long-winded because it is match review. Match soaked. Super soaked. Super soaked. Use the striker that you'd be with. You're around tinder bundle. Strike as fast as we can. Oh. <laughs> right in the eye. Okay, so when they're wet, the stick part kind of goes to hell real quick. So let's throw that away. Stick part kind of messing up. Eh, a little bit harder. Mm, might have found its downside of it. Let's see if we were to dry the striker off. Uh. Oh, oh no. Oh, a little bit's getting there. Oh, 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 come on. All right, maybe some extra effort. It's gonna burn my fingers here in a second. So it keeps burning. Let's put that down there. Let's try that again. So the sticks are getting a little, when the sticks get wet, they're probably gonna break. It could have been a one-off, let's see. Let's spray this guy down. Okay, it's all saturated, soaked. Let's use the box this time, a little bit more of a source. Oh, oh. Come on, one strike. The extra strikers may not be as, as good. Let's look at these out of the bag. I'm getting annoyed by that. Ugh. Let's wet this one down. Let's just wet just the striker and see if a brand new match will light on it. 
So wet, super wet striker. So dry it off, quickly put on some clothes. Yeah, it stick gets wet. Oh, all right. Let's do it again. One more test. I only need a few more, but let's soak this thing down. Super soaked. Let's take it on a dry igniter. Yeah, that stick. The sticks get wet real quick. But, and now the striker's wet. Ooh, snapped in half. So, soaked. Not working very well. Hmm. I'm actually kind of upset with this. I have not tested the, I've struck these a few times, but I've not tested the, um, the soaked aspect. So let's start this and see what happens when we start it and then try to put it out with water. So ignited. It's raining. Wow. It's resisting. That's impressive. All right. All right. That's impressive. Um, I wonder if it was in a pool of water. Let's see if we put some water in this and see how this goes with sticking the match in it. Dun, dun. This is good to know. I mean, I know it sounds kind of ridiculous. Let's get this crap box of matches out of there. I know it sounds kind of ridiculous to make a whole video on matches, but learning about this issue now and knowing what it works with and what it doesn't work with um, is key. It's something you want to want to learn about before you get out in the middle of nowhere trying to figure out does this product work. I don't know how many times I've taken stormproof matches out and they're not stormproof. So good to know. Let's get this struck. Be a break. Ah. Okay, so let's strike this. Ignites. Water. What? What? That's awesome. Okay, so completely submerged. They keep burning. Wow, they are honestly waterproof. Let's try it again. So a cup of water. Get this burning real quick. Shove it into the water. Completely submerged. Out. <laughs> Not out. I'm digging these matches. Excellent. I know, I, I know there's other things out there that burn underwater. Waterproof or waterproof fuses and matches have been out, but very few times that the product actually works as well as that. Come on. Yeah, buddy. That's awesome. And then the stick will burn just fine. The only issue I have so far is the strikers they come with. The backside is paper and it's very flimsy. My recommendation would be to take the box that it's in, cut the striker off of it, put some duct tape on the backside of it, bring it with you rather than relying on these. These little striker plates that they come with, they don't have nearly enough um, coarseness to it to actually do what it's supposed to do. And then when the matches themselves, oh, hey, little spider. What's up, buddy? Come here, Come here little dead long legs. He saw the heat and he's like, I want to be a part of this. <laughs> he's just looking for warmth. Come on, buddy. You can get over there. Cool little spider. Get out of here. Be careful. Don't get eaten. Get out. Oh, now you want to stay on my hand. Okay. Come on. Be free. So, <laughs> gotta love nature. Finding a good strike source is the only major factor with these matches. So, so far, I would say two thumbs up on these. They do exactly what they're supposed to do. They're windproof. I blew as hard as I possibly could on that and it did not go out. And if you have a little bit of shelter around it, I doubt most winds are gonna put that out. Um, water, completely submerged, completely fine. Downside, Striking source is gonna be hit and miss about what's gonna cause this to work and not to work. So keep that in mind with these UCO matches. Links in the description if you wanna check these out. Definitely a good piece of kit to have. Let's wet the box. Let's wet this strike surface. Yep. So you can sell that box. Starts wearing down. Yeah, they work when they're dry, but when they're wet, 
you have a stormproof match, waterproof, windproof, have a striker source to ignite your waterproof, windproof matches reliably on. Have that, cover all the bases, and give us some peace of mind. If you have something rough, if you have a rough piece of rock or material with you, I have no doubt these matches are gonna strike. This is a smooth rock and it almost struck on that. I can hear it wanting to pop and crackle. Preparation is king with a fire. Plenty more to come. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Also consider becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash GY6outdoors. A few bucks a month helps us a lot to get products that you might wanna see tested. And we're doing a lot of giveaways, giving back to the fans with gift cards and some of the products we use in our videos. So please consider becoming a patron. Links in the description or go to patreon.com forward slash GY6outdoors. All right, enough talking. Later. Oh.